Ladies and gentlemen, here is Sherry Walsh, director of the Sherry Walsh Dancers, and Dan Brennan, marketing director of Gilby's Canada Incorporated. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Gilby Canada has long been a supporter of cultural programs across Canada, and we've also valued the, the amount of benefits that our youth can gain by traveling abroad and visiting other countries. Later this fall, the Sherry Walsh Dancers will be going to Japan as part of a cultural program. We're very honored to be part of the contributing team that will see them see an awful lot of success when they visit Japan. So therefore, on behalf of Gilby Canada, Sherry, this is our donation for your support for the Thank upcoming you program. Thank you very much. Thank you. I am very grateful to have this opportunity to thank Mr. Gardy, first of all, for inviting us to be a part of the Bon Sioux pageant. It's been a really exciting and rewarding experience for all of us. And to Mr. Brennan, a very special thank you for his very generous donation for our trip to Japan. Mr. Gardy has asked me to say a few brief words about the upcoming tour to keep you informed of our progress to date. So, on July 7th of this summer, the students you have seen perform today along with others from the studio, will fly halfway across the world to perform in three major Japanese cities, nine different shows. During our two-week performance in Japan, we plan to learn as much as possible about the people, its country, and its culture, while staying at a Buddhist temple in Kamakura, as well as our homestay visitations and experiences in Sagamahara. This performance is not to be merely a performing tour, but we plan to learn as much as possible while we're there from the Japanese about their classical dance form, which is called Odori. And I, in turn, will teach to the Japanese students workshops in tap, jazz, and ballet. Recently, I've received a letter from Yoshihara Kyoko, which is a ballet school in Japan, confirming that they will be visiting and performing here in Sault Ste. Marie as early as the summer of 1988, hopefully the beginning of our city becoming a cultural exchange center. So to the community, thank you very much for all the support that you've been continuing to provide us with in all our endeavors, and to the Bonsu contestants today, the best of luck. Thank you. The Regal Awards to be presented to the 1987 Bonsu Queen at the Holiday Inn Gala Dinner Party following the pageant include a beautiful $3,000 fur coat from Northern Ontario's foremost furrier, Valentino Furs. As part of Air Canada's 50th year of service to Canadians, Miss Bonsu 1987 will fly to London, England and Paris, France. She'll be the guest of the world's most accommodating people, Holiday Inns. In London, the Holiday Inn Swiss Cottage, and in Paris, the downtown Holiday Inn. Sue to Toronto flight is courtesy Air Ontario. From Superior Sewing Center, a Singer Sewing Machine. From Algoma Telephone Systems, the Trillium 109 Intercom Telephone System with a control unit, a 109 feature phone set, room monitoring unit, room paging unit, door answering and energy management control valued at more than $1,200 from ATS, Algoma Telephone Systems. From Japan Camera, the Ricoh FF70 35mm camera, along with eight rolls of Japan camera film and free processing. Ideal to take photos in London and Paris from Japan Camera. From Savoy's Jewelers, a major sponsor of the pageant for 17 years, a beautiful Bulovo wristwatch. Savoy's Jewelers, now with three locations. Miss Bonsu can enjoy the pause that refreshes throughout 1987 with a year supply of Coca-Cola, a major sponsor of the pageant. She'll drive in style with a new 87 Pontiac from Franklin Prouse Motors. Leather Touch again presents Miss Bonsu with classic luggage, perfect for her holiday to England and France. From Perillo Shoes and Arpeggio Shoes, a wardrobe of shoes and boots, Arpeggio has provided each of the contestants in this year's pageant with a pair of their high-style shoes. The Regal Awards for Miss Bonsu 1987 continue with a Ken Denby print from the print and frame shop in the Pall Mall. Each of the contestants in this year's pageant receive a $50 credit note from Glenby International. Miss Bonsu receives a $200 credit note. From National Video, Miss Bonsu receives her very own VCR machine, plus a copy of the 1987 Bonsu pageant, a lasting memory of her crowning.
a six-month modeling and self-improvement program from Sulin Modeling Academy. Miss Bon Su will keep fit with a year's free membership at Creed's Fitness Center, the ultimate facility for fitness in the North. From Canadian Tire, a major sponsor of the 1987 Bon Su pageant, Miss Bon Su receives a microwave oven. And from Sears, a credit note valued at $500 to outfit Miss Bonsu 1987 for her holiday to Paris and London. From Susie Yu and her staff at Sears Hair and Beauty, complimentary hairstyling throughout 1987 for Miss Bonsu's public appearances in 87. And from Bonnie Cleaners, a $200 credit note on dry cleaning to be used during 1987. From Suter's Portrait Studios, a color album of photos of the 1987 Bonsu pageant. Suter's is the official photographer for the pageant. The pageant expresses its appreciation to Gilby's Canada, Guarantee Trust, Bill Kitely, and Yes 99.5 FM for providing expense money for Miss Bonsu's trip to London and Paris. In all, more than $10,000 in prizes for Miss Bonsu 1987. Ladies and gentlemen, this year, Sears spotlights exciting new colors for spring. The fabrics are alive with new textures. The show will feature Sears' new Vanessa collection. The pageant's Elsie Trudeau has choreographed an unusual fashion presentation featuring our 16 lovely contestants. Assistance was provided by Gwen Clark and Sherelle Robertson. Hairstyles and cosmetics by Susie Yu and her staff at Sears Hair and Beauty. Each contestant, as well, is wearing shoes from Perillo's, a gift from Arpeggio Shoes. The judging continues now, ladies and gentlemen, with the Sears Annual Fashion Show.
Ladies and gentlemen, here is the manager of Coca-Cola's operations in Sault Ste. Marie, Terry McPhee. Why don't they have a Mr. Bond Sioux pageant? Hey, well, we've got a Miss Bond, so why don't they have a Mr. Bond Sioux pageant? As I look around the room, probably Stu Stockfish and I are the only two that would fit the suit, which is probably... <laughs> I don't know how we managed to get two suits this big either, sir. Both of us are here wearing the same jacket. This is the sixth year that Coca-Cola has had uh, the opportunity and the privilege to be involved with the Miss Bond Sioux pageant. And uh, we certainly look forward to uh, a whole bunch more. It's been uh, an honor for us. And uh, when Mr. Gardy came to us uh, with the offer about six years ago, we jumped at the chance. And uh, the, just having a look around here and seeing the number of people that are here, uh, I know that it's well received by the community and it's something that, that each and every one of us should get involved with. Um, it's it's a, a horrendous task every year for the selection committee to put together a group of young ladies uh, of the caliber that, that they have done and I'm sure will continue to do. Uh, it, it's almost unbelievable, but every year they get a group equally as good as the year before and any one of the young ladies that uh, you're seeing today could in fact uh, assume the responsibility of being ambassadors for our community and, and I look forward to seeing who the, the judges are going to choose and you do have a, a big job ahead of you. It's been our, our, our pleasure every year to be able to award to someone in the audience a year's supply of Coca-Cola. So I'd like to call on my administrative assistant and uh, also last year's Miss Bond Sioux Princess, Jane McMullen. Now what you have here are brains and beauty. And this girl is intelligent. <laughs> okay, who's, <laughs> who's, who's gonna make the draw, you or me? I will? Okay. I lost out on both ends, right? Yeah. All right. You wanna read it? Uh -uh. <laughs> Maybe she's not as intelligent as I thought to. <laughs> Anne Marie Kleppitz. 593 Wallace Terrace, Anne Marie Kleppitz. <laughs> Would you all enjoy the rest of the Bonsu pageant? And on behalf of myself and the Bonsu committee, please get out and enjoy all the events that make Bonsu the big success that it really is. Thank you so much. Television coverage of the evening gown judging in the 1987 Bonsu pageant is next.